What we are going to do is to test the spark of ignition system. They're all pretty much the same. It could be from a Ford to a Ferrari. First, you have to hook up your leads, black to ground and lead one to yellow one. So we're gonna test the secondary first. So go to ignition scope, go to parade. And once you get there, you'll go to setup and go to ignition, go to standard ignition, drop the cylinders down to a one cylinder. Here is the pattern for the ignition. The red is an open in the wire, makes the voltage go up to the top of the scope. Green is a shorted plug or a carbon nut plug, which makes it go down to ground. Yellow is a good known, and this is what it should look like. Once you have your ignition set up the way you need it, as we did before, all you do is you touch the back probe to the wire, just like you see on the bottom left and right, and then you'll get this pattern that looks just like this. The red is actually the gap of your spark plug. We're gonna hook it up a different way. We're just gonna use a, the voltage side of a scope. So we're gonna go to scope, voltimeter, meter, go to lab scope, go to volt DC, and then we're gonna set it up. Now I want you to set it up to 50 volt on the scale. And I want you to go and set up the five milliseconds where it says that or whatever yours says to 20 milliseconds. Now once you take the trigger, put it in the middle, and then also take your cursor and put that in the middle. This way you can measure the spark plug gap. This will give you into the milliseconds. So when you measure it, you can measure the milliseconds between the coil and the spark plug. So you can see we have it set up for 50 volts and 20 milliseconds. All you're doing is touching the wires and this is what you get out of your wires. So you can see that the coil and the spark plug are firing. Now you can see on the bottom where it's going straight up, that is a shorted out coil. You can see it doesn't have any windings on the picture to the right. You need to have these windings and that will tell you if the coil is bad or if it's good. This coil is very common on the Fords. The Fords, you get a lot of those that look like that. Once again, I want to thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Hope this video helps you out figuring out the spark on ignition. Please click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you.